Tonight, word that Kalamazoo County can take control of a cottage privately owned by a pair of families for more than 50 years now. A judge has made that ruling, citing eminent domain rules. This is an update to a story Fox 17 has been following for years now. Our Jamie Sherrod is in the control room tonight with more on what court documents are revealing. Jamie. Yeah, Josh and Janice, that ruling from Judge Curtis Bell was signed August 4th. It says that Kalamazoo County has met its burden, approving that it would be taking the property for public use, and therefore it is an appropriate move within the county's eminent domain authority. Now here's the backstory. The cottage in question sits on a third of a landlocked acre in Prairie View Park in Vicksburg. The county wants to restore the land and absorb it into the park saying the private property in the middle of the area has caused a number of issues like needing to maintain a private driveway through the park and causing difficulty with public access for Kalamazoo County residents and visitors. The county says under an agreement with the original owners from 1963, it's allowed to purchase the property for a fair value after the last remaining survivor died, which happened a few years ago. However, the two families who now own it, the Johnsons and the Talundas, disagree and have been arguing that it, can, that it can be passed through each generation. Under the ruling from this month, the families will be entitled to compensation for the property. Now, last year, the county voted to pay $310,000, but Judge Bell says the families are entitled to a trial where a jury will decide how much the Johnsons and Talundas are old. Now at this time it's unclear when that trial will take place. We did reach out to attorneys representing the families to see if they'd like to comment on this latest development, but we have not heard back at this time. In the control room, Jamie Sherrod, Fox 17 News.